Back at the book segment tonight, did you know that? Our weekly feature where we tell you stuff about people you see here on Fox News. One anchor has a fascinating story because her father is an iconic pop star. You go to New So what's it like being the daughter of a pop star? You know, Mabel Bros is successful, but in New Orleans, where Miss Arthel was raised, they're enormous. <laughs> because for me, he was dad. He would go to work, yes, I'd see lights, I'd see stage and him signing autographs, but he'd come home if he needed to punish me, which was rare. If, you know, he helped me with my homework, he would mow the lawn, and help clean the All house. All right, so it was cook. a normal So it was upbringing. normal to me, yes. But you got a crazy uncle. No, you're not going to call Uncle Aaron crazy, yeah, Aaron oh. Neville. <laughs> no way. And he's with Linda Ronstadt, <laughs> and he's all over. Are you saying you were completely unaffected by all that? I was completely unaffected because that's why I was raised. Plus, you know, we are a Catholic family, so we're a family for, you know, from faith, a faithful background. So I was always taught to be humble and treat everybody with the same respect as you would like them to treat you. What happened? I don't know what happened. I'm <laughs> hanging out with you. <laughs> that's it. Blame it on me. Everybody does. So you get out of high school, you come here to New York City to do some modeling and acting and all of that. Yes. All right. But then you decide, look, I, I'm too smart for this. You go back to college. I did. And you got a journalism degree yes. from where? University. University of Texas, okay. Austin. And you start your career, which is a very interesting career because I met Arthel when we were competitors, <gasps> kind of. That's right. In the syndicated world. I was doing Inside Edition, and you were doing some show, I forget the name of really, it. Really, a little show called Extra that Extra. I Extra, oh, yes. that's right. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Extra, the entertainment magazine on this Labor Day. I'm Marcel Neville. I was the first African-American female to do that sort of, a, you know, they call it prime access, to right. be the face of an entertainment magazine like that. And then I went on to do a lot of uh, first, which I'm proud of, became the first African-American female to have my own signature show on CNN. So you're kind of a trailblazer. Now, did you, were you conscious of the racial aspect of uh, the TV industry when you were in it? When you walk in certain shoes, you can you're never not aware of it. You know, you don't walk around with a chip on your shoulder because of it, but you are aware of it. And there are situations, I'll give you a quick example. One day we're talking about, say, guys, what we need to do is let's tease that story. Let's deep tease it. Let's do this. Let's do that. And the guy looks at me and he says, art, calm down. Thankfully, there was another African-American African female there with me. And she says, so-and-so, she's not upset. That's just how we talk. Well, me too. I mean, we get involved yes. and we're this and that. We're not zombies and this and that. America's been good to you, though, I think. Absolutely. I? I have no complaints. Hello, everyone. I'm Marcel Neville, topping the news this hour. I'm proud to uh, be considered a, a trailblazer. I'm proud to be a role model. I don't represent everybody who looks like me, but I'm happy when young girls can look at me and say, wow, I want to be like her, because more so now they're able to see more people who look like me on right. TV, but, you know, before, not as much. But and you know what makes me mad? Tell uh, me. I, I, I've known Arthel for a long time, and, uh, you know, we're kind of friends. And don't, yeah, don't, I don't really say that. Yeah, okay. That means she don't hold it like against that. me. Okay. No. <laughs> what makes me mad is that people like Beyonce and things and people like this, they get all the media attention, all right? But you, you should get some media attention in the sense that here's somebody who is uh, an educated journalist practicing at the highest level, Fox News Channel, okay? Why aren't the media saying, you know what, there's a couple of role models here, too? I, I, it's kind of funny, and I'm not, you know, slamming anybody, but it's kind of funny that people who normally would follow me, Bill, the minute I tell them where I work. He said, where are you? I thought we haven't seen you in so long. And I said, well, I work at Fox, Fox News. News. And the minute I say that, they're But they don't know why, do they? No. And I asked they don't them, know do why. you watch? I right. said, at least watch right. me. And you'll see that I'm the same person and the same right. journalist with the same practicing values and standards that I always sure. have. Final question. Can you sing? I mean, can you, are you, are you, I will, you, I will can you do Oh, that, you know what uh, I can do? Can I give you a quick rap? Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> My name is Art, and I want you to know that I'm spirited and on the go. I'm a Creole baby from New Orleans, and I'll try my best not to be so mean. I know sometimes I'm cold as ice, but deep down inside, I'm sugar and spice. <laughs> Scene. It's been really nice working with you, Bill. Very good. I tell Neville, everybody, give her a hand. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> well, I tell us the best.